Welcome to Bethesda Church for the celebration of the Sunday of the Resurrection, Easter Day. As we sing in the Psalms, this is the day which the Lord hath made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. May the presence of the risen Christ fill each and every heart and home. Alleluia, Christ is risen. The Lord, the Lord is, is risen, risen indeed. indeed. Alleluia. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with, and with thy spirit. spirit. Let us pray. Almighty God, who through thine only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, hast overcome death and opened unto us the gate of everlasting life, grant that we who celebrate with joy the day of the Lord's resurrection may be raised from the death of sin by thy life-giving spirit. Through the same Jesus Christ, our Lord, who liveth and reigneth with thee and the same spirit ever, one God, world without end. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with thy spirit. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to John. Glory, Glory be, be to, to thee, thee, O Lord. Early on the first day of the week, while it was yet still dark, Mary Magdalene came to the tomb and saw the stone which had been removed from the tomb. So she ran and went to Simon Peter and the other disciple, the one whom Jesus loved, and said to them, they have taken the Lord out of the tomb, and we do not know where they have laid him. Then Peter and the other disciple set out and went toward the tomb. The two were running together, but the other disciple outran Peter and reached the tomb first. He bent down to look in and saw the linen wrappings lying there, but he did not go in. Then Simon Peter came following him and went into the tomb. He saw the linen wrappings lying there and the cloth that had been on Jesus' head, not lying with the linen wrappings, but rolled up in a place by itself. Then the other disciple who reached the tomb first also went in and he saw and believed. For as yet they didn't understand the scripture that he must rise from the dead. Then the disciples returned to their homes. But Mary stood weeping outside the tomb. As she wept, she bent over to look into the tomb, and she saw two angels in white sitting where the body of Jesus had been lying, one at the head and the other at the feet. They said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? She said to them, They have taken away my Lord, and I do not know where they have laid him. When she had said this, she turned around and saw Jesus standing there, but she did not know that it was Jesus. Jesus said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? Whom are you looking for? Supposing him to be the gardener, she said to him, Sir, if you have carried him away, tell me where you have laid him, and I will take him away. Jesus said to her, Mary. She turned and said to him in Hebrew, Rabunai, which means teacher. Jesus said to her, do not hold on to me because I have not yet ascended to the Father. But go to my brothers and say to them, I am ascending to my Father and your Father, to my God and your God. Mary Magdalene went and announced to the disciples I have seen the Lord. And she told them that he had said these things to her. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise be, be to, to thee, thee, O Christ. Christ. It is customary on the Feast of the Resurrection to renew our promises in holy baptism. And so we do. Through the Paschal mystery, dear friends, we are buried with Christ by baptism into his death 
and raised with him to newness of life. I call upon you, therefore, now that our Lenten observance is ended, to renew the solemn promises and vows of holy baptism by which you once renounced Satan and all his works and promise to serve God faithfully in his holy Catholic Church. Do you reaffirm your renunciation of evil and renew your commitment to Jesus Christ? I do. I do. Do you believe in God the Father? I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, the Son of God? I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit? I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Will you continue in the apostles' teaching and fellowship in the breaking of the bread and in the prayers? I will with God's help. Will you persevere in resisting evil and whenever you fall into sin, repent and return to the Lord? I will with God's help. Will you proclaim by word and example the good news of God in Christ? I will with God's help. Will you seek and serve Christ in all persons, loving your neighbor as yourself? I will with God's help. Will you strive for justice and peace among all people and respect the dignity of every human being? I will with God's help. May Almighty God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has given us a new birth by water and the Holy Spirit and bestowed upon us the forgiveness of our sins, keep us in eternal life by his grace in Christ Jesus, our Lord. Amen. And now, as our Savior Christ hath taught us, we are bold to say, Our, our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever, amen. Almighty God, who for our redemption gave your only begotten Son to the death of the cross and by his glorious resurrection delivered us from the power of our enemy, grant us so to die daily to sin that we may evermore live with him in the joy of his resurrection. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Amen. The God of peace who brought again from the dead our Lord Jesus Christ, the great shepherd of the sheep through the blood of the everlasting covenant, make you perfect in every good work to do his will, working in you that which is well-pleasing in his sight. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. alleluia.